Hey, I'm, I'm Brett Slatkin. I'm a software engineer on the Google App Engine team. And so I'm going to run you guys through a demo of building a guestbook web application in just a few minutes here, and, um, and then deploy it to the web. So the first thing to do is just uh, create a new project. So in this case, I'm going to call my project uh, Shoutout. And I'll put this into my editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is define uh, configuration for my application. And I'll do this with a uh, app.yaml file. And then I just declare, well, the name of my application is going to be called uh, uh, Shoutout. And let's say this is the first version. And I'm going to use the first version of the APIs we have available. And uh, I'm going to use uh, the Python uh, runtime, which is Python. And then I declare how the URLs coming into your application are going to uh, map to your actual application code. So in this case, I'm going to have all the, all the code um, mapped to just one Python script called main. All right. So now I'll just create that actual main uh, Python file. And for starters, I'm just going to put in a uh, just a hello world just to get us started. And then I'll switch over to the uh, the terminal to uh, to start up the development web uh, web server. So this is a uh, locally running on my machine here, and it'll start up the application for me um, and get it get it running on the local on the local port. So I'll take this address, go into my web server. All right, so very simple. Hello world, it's working. Now let's do something a little more complicated. Let's uh, let's actually build a web application. So to get you started, we have a very simple uh, Python module called Web App. So uh, and Web App lets you uh, handle uh, all the different methods in, uh, from HTTP requests. So I'm going to import that. And I'm going to define a handler. And in this case, I'm just going to have the handler handle one type of method, which is get, and then have it print out a uh, hello world message. Then I'm going to use uh, Python's standard uh, WSGI module to actually run this web application. So I'll import that too. And then define a new application. So. So here I'm just kind of making a very basic application. In this case, I'm going to route all my URLs to this single handler I have. And then I'm going to use WSGI to run it. And then last, just hook up the main function. So if we go back to the browser, oh, you'll see I got a stack trace. So what happened here is there's something wrong with my code. So I can scroll down. This is Python standard kind of web app uh, uh, stack trace module. You'll see I have invalid syntax on line 18. So go back. Oh, look, yeah. So I forgot to, yeah, it should have been a comparison. So if I go back, I can reload. All right, hello again. So now my web app is actually working. So let's do something uh, more interesting still. Let's actually start using templates to make this into uh, something more interesting. So I'll create a, oh yeah, so we provide a very basic uh, library to do uh, uh, templating, and it's based on Django templates. And uh, so the first thing I'll do is kind of create a, uh, a new template file. And here I'll just create a heading, say, name my app, shout out. Then I'll import our, uh, our basic template module. So this is um, called template. And then I'm just going to use our module to, to render the template that I just created. So now I can go back to my browser again, reload. OK, that's working. So now let's actually keep going. Let's build an app. Let's actually make it do something. So I want to have a, uh, a form. And here uh, I'm going to post. And then I'll have an input field. So this is just a really simple guestbook application. So I'm just going to have one field, which is uh, kind of the message that I'm going to post. 
And then I'll have the submit button say uh, shout. So again, back to the browser. All right, there's the field. So this isn't going to do anything yet. I haven't hooked it up yet. So now, back to the code. I'll define the, a new method to handle the post request. And I'll just, for now, I'm just going to see if I actually get that correctly. So it says post in. All right. And then, uh, so now if I go back here and I type something in, post in. All right. That's working. So now uh, let's keep going. Let's actually start interacting with data. Let's put some, some data in the, in the data store. So to do this, I'm going to import our DB module. So the DB module lets me define how my data is going to be stored in the data store using something called a model class. So in this case, my model is going to be called a shout. And I'm going to have just, uh, well, a couple of fields to begin with. First, the message. And then uh, when the actual message is left for me. And in this case, uh, I'm going to say auto now add, which means just to set the time when I put it into the data store. So then on the post, uh, on the post request, I'm going to create a new shout and insert it into the data store. And I'll just use the, the, um, the parameters from the request to do this. Make sure I put it in. And then once I'm done putting it in, I'll, I, I'll redirect the user back to the main page. It's kind of a standard way to do it. OK, that looks good. Go back here. So I got another one. Uh, looks like line 11, another stack trace. So what's, what's wrong with line 11? Oh, yeah, I forgot an equal sign. Yep, thanks. <laughs> a lot of eyeballs. All right. OK, so I can post here. Obviously, it's not doing anything, but it's, it is inserting into the data store. So now let's write a query to actually pull the data back out. So in this case, I'm going to write a uh, GQL query. You'll hear more about that later. Um, and so yeah, so just, just a GQL um, query. And in this case, I want to uh, select all the shouts, get the first, say, 100 or so. And then I'll uh, create a dictionary to uh, pass these values into my, into my template. And then pass that in right here. All right, and then I can go into my template and then use that as a template parameter. Again, this is Django, uh, Django templates. And I'll just... Uh, render it here. OK, so that looks good to me. That should go through. Let's see what we got. Oh, indentation error. Yep. So you can see I can just quickly go back and forth, see the errors I have, and then pick it up. Yeah, I was trying to make it so you guys could read that, but I guess it's not valid. It's too bad. All right, there you go. All kinds of stuff. Um, now let's start from scratch. So one thing I want to do here. This is the debug log. I can say to um, clear my data store. Give me a fresh, fresh look at things. All right, so let's start again. Just kind of trying to demonstrate. So here, pointing some stuff in. You see it's not really coming in in any order. So now I want to add a, a sort order to my query. I can do that really simply. Just right here, I'll add another part that says to order this by the, the time the message comes in. And we'll say descending here so that I can see it, the newest ones first. So then it flips it around. And those ones go to the top. OK, great. So now let's keep going. I, I got a web application up and running. It's looking pretty good. I've kind of gone through a lot of iterative steps, made some mistakes along the way, but still going here. Now I'd like to kind of change my schema. I want to say not only here's a shout when it happened, but also who, sh who said it. So I'm going to add another property, which is, uh, let's say, another string that says who. Then I'll go into my template and add a new parameter there, too. Say who it's from.
And then also kind of put some things here. Actually, I like it in this order instead. Say who it's from and say what the message is. All right, and then I got to make sure to, now that I've changed my schema, I actually need to make sure that when I insert this data into the data store that I um, populate it correctly. The last thing here is I have to modify my template to take advantage of this new field that I've added to my model. So I'll go here, and uh, this is where I say the message. And I'll say, well, it's from, OK. Now, some of the data doesn't have an explicit sender, so I'm going to add a statement here. So that if, if, if there isn't a sender, I'll just say anonymous. So now I'll go back over to my browser, reload this. Oh, now, oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> so now I've got a template syntax error. So no such tag, if equals. All right. Yeah, so I always get those ones kind of confused. Go back through, fix my template. All right, now I'm working. So here you see from anonymous, from anonymous, from anonymous. So now I'll have from for me. And then you can see my name. All right, so now I've, I've built an application. I've changed my schema. I've got it up and running. I've got some data. It looks good. Now I actually want to put it live on the web. So to do this, we've got another tool for you. And it's called App Config. You can't see. Oh, it's too low. OK. So we've got another tool called App Config. Now App Config lets me deploy uh, my application uh, immediately. So I just say App Config update and then my project directory. And this will go through all the steps that's involved in contacting the server, uploading my files, and then getting it live. And now I'm live. My app's actually deployed on the web. And I can show it to you. Here it is. No data because now I'm live on the web. There you go. So I hope you like what you see. Uh, make an app real quick.